Hello. So we're going to take a look at some of the guns that you would carry in the 90s. So um, kind of continuing with the other ones. So this is a model 1873. And I guess you could have carried it in the 90s. But we're going to use this kind of. This was like the old West what they used to carry. And it weighed 36.4 ounces. And this is in 45 Colt. And it's a six shot that you had to feed him one at a time. So, kind of give you an idea of what the old guns look like compared to the new ones. So, this, in 1990, they came out with, uh, Glock came out with the Glock 20. And this is a 10 millimeter with 15 rounds. And the weight on this is 30.5 ounces. And 10 millimeter was fairly new and very powerful. It's like a... Uh, like a 41 Magnum power. So, um, Glock was quick to uh, jump on that caliber, and that's what they came out with. So, you got the mag release there, and you got the slide release, and the takedowns there, and a little trigger safety. So, uh, you could you could get all the other ones, like the Glock 17 and the Glock 19, but these came out in 1990, so that's what we're starting at. So, again, in 1990, the IWI came out with the Jericho. Now, this is a Jericho, too. This is the plastic polymer one, but I don't have one of the old, earlier ones. The earlier ones had the uh, safety on the slide and stuff, and they were all metal. So, um, it's definitely, they were nicer. Um, not that the plastic's bad, but they were 16 rounds. This is 17 rounds. And, like I said, they had the, the safety up on the slide whereas this one's got it right there and this is a slide release and mag release so this one the weight on this one is 27.6 ounces uh, i've seen this the steel ones and they, they're a little bit heavier but they're they're nice they shoot really nice they're uh very dependable the the one downside to this one the newer ones is um, this is, you can only carry, you can carry it cocked and locked, but there's no decocker on this model. So if you wanted to carry it at, you know, the double action, then you have to lower the hammer. So this is uh, double action and it's also single action. So, and again, this was the IWI Jericho series. Now something else that came out and, um, the 90s in 1992 high point came to the market and uh, this is not one of the original ones um i don't even know if you can find those around those are kind of hard to find but these were eight round mags and that's a safety or a slide lock too and then that's the uh, mag release and let's get a weight on this those are big and chunky but I guess it's not too bad. It's 31.6 ounces. But, yeah, and they were made with um, the Zymac. You know, I guess that's how you pronounce it. It's a composite um, material that's uh, like a tin uh, material. So, but this is something that it came to the market, and I'm sure people were carrying it, especially if you couldn't afford something else. And now another thing that came to the market in the 90s, it's in the mid-90s, I couldn't get an exact date, is uh, Taurus released the stub nose. This is a 3-inch barrel, which you could get in a 2-inch barrel. And this is a 22 Magnum. And you can see it's an 8-shot 22 Magnum. So now this is all metal with the uh, sights, the adjustable sights. But you could get them with various different things, kind of like the 85s. So this is 24.9 ounces, and it's basically like a, the 85 that Taurus has, but it's in 22 Magnum. So it's a good option if you want more rounds, because you get eight instead of five rounds. So, and you know, this one has a nice wood handles and stuff. Now, here's a gun that um, I, I liked when it came. I had one when they first came out, but I had to sell it, and I ended up finding another one. And this is... The Firestar. Now, these were made from 1991 to 1994. And they have a seven-round mag. And let's let's get a weight on that one. They're all steel, which was nice. So, it's uh, 31.2 ounces. 
So it's it's all steel and it's single action only. So it's kind of like a 1911. Yeah, it was kind of like an early version of like a, a 1911. They had the Star BM, which was almost exactly like a 1911, and they kind of moved to this. And what's nice about this is it's got huge, like, controls. So you've got really nice ambidextrous safety. You've got the slide release there and the mag release there. And it's a pretty nice gun for um, what it what it was. So th this is kind of... They started getting into the more compact guns. I mean, they had the Glock 19, but the, these were like all steel hammer fired smaller ones. And then they came out with in uh, 1995 and they went to 1997. They came out with these, these uh, Firestar Plus. So um, these are 13. Well, these are 10 round mags, but the original ones were 13 rounds. But because of the... Uh, Clinton ban, they couldn't sell them as 13 rounds, so they put the dimples there so that way you couldn't put more than 10 rounds in there. So let's get a weight on that. So that's 25 ounces. So, I mean, they're, they're not too heavy because this one is steel. This is um, aluminum frame, and it's got the same big controls. It's got the uh, nice ambidextrous safety there. And then the slide release and the mag release there. So it's just like the Firestar, but you've got extra rounds. And I mean, if you can, you can modify those to, I guess, to be 13 rounds, which when you think about it, you go from 7 to 13, you've almost doubled your um, capacity. And they, these are, they're, they're nice. This one's a little beat up, but, you know, it's the same idea, single action, everything, the grip's wider. And you can you can see how they made the, the grip a lot wider for the higher capacity. But they were neat guns. And unfortunately, Star went out of business. But uh, moving on, we have the Bursa Thunder, which came out in 1995. And this has got an 8-round mag. Um, this one's newer than that. And uh, this has got like the safety thing there. But this is a 380. And it's got the uh, safety decocker there. So, I mean, you can decock it and leave it on safe or, you know, just flip it forward and then you got a double action pull. So it's got double action pull and then single action pull. And that's the mag release, which is a little out of place. It's not down here, but it's still easy to get. And then there's the slide release. And this is just a copy of the Walther PPK. Um, which uh, that would be included in this list if I had one, but um, actually the PPK came out quite a bit earlier. So, but uh, these were real nice. It is, you know, they, they got a nice ergonomics to them and they're pretty pleasant to shoot because of the 380. And then the, another one that we got on there, and this is what started the whole um, G series for um, Taurus. So, Forgot to get the weight on the uh, the Bursa weighs nineteen point five ounces, and then we'll get the weight on this. This is the uh, Taurus Millennium Pro, the PT one eleven Pro, and this was their first gen of the G series. So that's twenty three point four ounces. Um, they come with uh, this. This one was a ten rounder, but they come with thir uh, twelve rounders. And then you can get higher ones. You can get 15 rounds. You can get um, 17 round mags that will fit in there. Uh, and it has the safety on this, the side there. It's only on one side. That's the uh, slide release. That's the mag release. And that's to take it apart. So uh, it comes apart a little bit different. Um, so yeah, this is comes apart with the little lever there on the, the bursa. But these... The ergonomics on these were really nice, and that's why I had bought it, is because you put it in your hand, and it, it feels nice. It's got a good texture to it and stuff. It's a little top-heavy, a little chunky, and, the, you know, their system was a little weird, but um, it, it was very nice. And now the new G-Series G have been great, especially, like, the GX4 and all that, G2C. But that was the start of the G-Series, 
And that came out in 1997. So it's towards the end of the 90s series. So um, I figured I'd just show some of the guns in the 90s. This is what uh, you had some of the options. Now you always had like the 1911s and you know, the Berettas and all that stuff. But those came out in the 80s. So um, actually some of the Berettas were in the 70s and stuff. So I figured this is a focus on the 90s. So if you were back in the 90s like I did and you're carrying, these are some of the options you had. So I hope you enjoyed the video and hope you have a good day.